Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to our Prince Emmer campaign in Mortal Empires and Total Warhammer 2. We have a rebellion situation going on here, uh, which is fine. We're going to have this uh, dealt with fairly shortly-ish, I imagine. I'm actually going to cancel this. I do want to get it upgraded, but I have concerns about that army. And I don't know that I'll be able to get there in time. Uh, instead, we could maybe upgrade something over here. Uh, no, we can't. Never mind. <laughs> well, in that case, I guess I'll just end the turn. I did uh, take a look at Marathi off screen. She's strength rank number one. And I thought maybe we could get a non aggression pact with her or something, but uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. So we're probably going to end up going to war with her fairly shortly, I would imagine. It's just kind of a matter of, uh, are we going to be prepared for it, I guess? What do you want? Sure. No reason to piss off the dwarfs. I mean, we, we can always take their stuff later. <laughs> if we uh, decide that's something we're interested in doing. But for now, we're really just trying to shore up uh, what we already have and uh, build it up. So we can finally get some friggin' dragons, you know what I mean? Like, I missed the, the last uh, opportunity to even see one. Because uh, we were just running back and forth playing whack-a-mole here, so... Now... Let's just uh, deal with this rebellion. Maybe we'll get a couple fights out of it. More XP is always good. Although we are at a point where maybe we don't have to worry about it quite so much. All right, this should be simple enough. You guys go right about, uh, right about, right about there. You guys go right about there. You go there. You go here. You can go there. Um, actually, do you have a? No, we still don't have your dragon. Um, we'll gamble. And yeah, this is actually a bug that I just read about. Every time you gamble, you get the same wins of magic. Right now, <laughs> I imagine that'll be patched. Uh, before release or shortly after of the uh, the actual DLC, <laughs> not really that big a deal, but uh, just something to uh, be aware of, I guess. By the time this goes out, it may already be fixed. A glorious challenge. Alrighty, we're gonna move you up a little bit and just uh, burn everybody to death. Let's actually do that. That seems like a good idea. Ooh, you're going to cast magic at moi? How dare you? There it is. And then just run back. What's this? Oh yeah, I don't remember what that comes from exactly. Alright, how are we looking here? We've got um, some critters coming over this way. We're going to send a couple guys there. We're going to do one of these as well. I'm gonna send two guys over this way, I guess. Everybody on guard mode. Trolls don't like fire. Fun fact. You should have a pretty easy time taking them out, I think. Just gonna fire breath these guys real fast, I think. We may as well. Oh, never mind, I guess I'm not. We definitely do want to shoot them. So our savage orcs, actually. Man, that thing is still going. I love it. And why don't you go ahead and shoot those guys, I guess. Yeah, they charged the mage. Probably not what they really wanted to be doing. Do a burning head right here, maybe. You guys. Shoot them. Shoot them. Come on over. All right, go ahead and shoot these guys. Let's do fire breath on them, I think. And yeah, we don't have much to worry about here. In fact, we can just do that, we can do that, we can do one of these, because we may as well. And these guys are about to be extremely toast in actually a kind of literal sense. <laughs> 
This should be running shortly, I imagine. Alright, go ahead and attack this guy. Use your potion to get uh, your HP back. You may as well. And, uh, yeah, we'll just wait for that to finish up. Looks good. End the battle. Lost only 11 high elves there. That's 11 too many. <laughs> to be losing to filthy, dirty orcs. But what can you do against such reckless hate? <laughs> um... Anyway, yeah, once we uh, get through here, we'll we'll finish this guy off. And then, I don't know. We still, we still need to do with those beastmen, so I'll probably run up to the north. And uh, take care of that in case the, uh, the dwarves don't, for one reason or another. I have a feeling they are going to attack that one settlement, and I would kind of prefer to not have to rebuild it. Just because it takes us a little while to get our replenishment back. But uh, if I have to, I will. Alright. Banner of Eternal Flame sounds like an actually really good banner to have in this army. Uh, let's see. Ancient Pride I definitely want to make our dragons just that much stronger when we eventually do have them. Now you... Ah, so close. <laughs> almost. You almost have your dragon. What do we give you in the meantime? Magic resistance? No, nah, I don't think so. Flaming Sword of Ruin. Cascading Fire Cloaks. I never really intended for her to, to be in an army. I'd rather have a... Uh, uh, I can't remember what the trait is, but there's one that makes uh, mages into like absolute melee powerhouses for the most part, and I want that trait <laughs> on a... A mage is actually in an army, but um, for now, it kind of seems like we're going to be sticking with her. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to I'm going to get specialists just in the future in case we need to do more block army and stuff like that. It's just useful to have um, that be a lot cheaper. And then here, I don't know, whatever. Let's get some XP. Radiant gem of Hoth. I think that gives us regen on somebody. And actually, here we go. There's your dragon. Very nice. Very, very nice, some might say. Uh, okay. Let's just take a look at our situation here. Uh, where is that banner? We got a war banner, food taster, lichbone pennant, uh, gleaming pennant. Well, we definitely don't need this on you. Yeah. I mean, well, no. It's not bad. It's not great either, but I'm still going to take it. I mean, because we, we already all, all already have fire damage, I think, <laughs> for this army. Thanks to something over here. I thought there was something that gave us fire damage. Maybe not. Maybe it is really good. I don't know. Let's take a look. Yeah, I guess we aren't doing fire damage with everybody. It was never so good, yeah, alright. Yeah, that seems like a really good banner to have then. Uh, what else? What else, what else, what else? What do we do here? I think, yeah. Uh, ignore that for a sec. Yeah, come over here. Start building that. Let's start building uh, this as well. Does this give us any techs? No. But the Silvering Guard could actually be good for us as a frontline unit just because um, you can see in the bottom left of their unit card there on the left. They've got magic resistance. It's actually uh, like 30%, I think. That sounds like something I'm interested in. In the meantime, we're going to run up this way. And uh, we'll see what the Beastmen decide to do. Uh, still not going to upgrade that just yet. Man, it's so nice to actually have a little bit of money. <laughs> so we can start building some infrastructure. Um, look, did the Beastmen attack the dwarfs up here? Seems like maybe they did. Hag Grief attacking the Silver Host. That's sort of good. That's why we're still at war with Kalita. If we can negotiate a peace agreement there, I think I will, just so I don't have to worry about her coming up here ever for now. Okay, that's good. Let's uh, actually take a look here. 
Our empire is a little bit bigger now, so she might respect us more. Nope. She says she has no strife, but she also doesn't want a peace agreement, so... Prince of Calador. Um, what to do? We could also come down here and grab this crap. <laughs> we can get a bunch of rebellions out of that. That's kind of like a long, more long-term goal, though. Um, let's... Calador's champion. I'm going to keep marching up this way. And then if we have to come and rescue these guys, we can do that later. For now... I think I will build this for... Uh, for next turn, we'll upgrade some stuff over there. We are Ill at ease. And uh, now I think I feel okay about upgrading that. What about over here? How's this? How's this all shaken out? Um, I guess we can build that. We've got a pretty decent garrison here, so there is that. I almost wonder, well, I mean, the corruption is stabilized, but we're still losing public order here. Is there a, um, let's see what do we have? Conscientious. That seems really, really good. <laughs> really good. Vigorous. Practiced. Elusive. And then the crappy ones. Like, the thing about this is, like, I, I don't think that we have to keep him active. And then we can still get him, or get his benefits, even if we ditch him. Actually, no, that's not true with heroes. I think that I think that may be true with uh, with lords. But uh, not, not with heroes. Because I don't think, once you disband them, I don't think they, they come back. Pretty sure that's how that works anyway. But still, this, uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty good. It's only 187 upkeep, and we would like to have a scout out that way. I was really hoping for the public order guy, though. We, I think we saw him early on. Order must be and, uh, he, he's disappeared. Actually, maybe if I recruit from here? No. Alright, well... Let's end her turn. I await your hey, we finally made it down here. <laughs> How about that? Could have also sent him out to search some ruins for me, too, now that I think about it. So what I'm curious about is what kind of forces Malice has down here, if anything, because I think he still gets Hag Grief, like way over in Nagarond. Uh, in addition to this, like I think he still gets the dual start, but I could be wrong. Right, let's take a look. Yup. He, uh, he came right down here. What a surprise. Oh boy. Well, what's the garrison look like? Not very friggin' good. <laughs> Um, I think we need to to intervene down here. Witness my stride. Hopefully, we're close enough to help if that does get attacked. If, if he attacks us, it's not a problem, even on Force March. Maybe if we got ambushed. Um. Okay. Let me take a look at the building browser for these real quick. Just want to see if any of these have any special buildings I need to be aware of, like this, for example. So we probably want to get a lumber yard here in Haunted Forest eventually. Uh, and then over here, there's nothing really of note. So, yeah, I think we should be able to actually upgrade this. Fairly soon. Eight more turns. It's a little longer than I thought. I'm kind of more interested in getting these built up at this point, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to save my money 
Well, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna at least build that there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna save up and see if we can get this situation figured out a little bit better. I'm down here. Ooh, that is a maxed out dread rock right there. No army present, however, which is interesting. Yeah, it's sort of what I was wondering is if Malice, like, just left <laughs> or whatever and went back to Hag, Hag Grief. It's possible. What's this? Oh, we can still fight this, huh? I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea this was even still on the table. <laughs> well, I still think we would get absolutely wrecked if we tried that with this this army here, even with the chevrons we currently have. So I'm probably not going to do that. Although we are a lot stronger than we were, and Toon Kings are weak to fire. I believe, anyway. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we could actually make it happen. I just remember there's a lot of really big units in that battle, which uh, is going to make our life basically hell. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. All right, they left. They went that way. That's fine. Happy Populous. Finally, we get some, like, decent news. Um, all right, yeah, let's uh, block army against these guys. Success, very nice. We'll make that cheaper for the future. Greatest of the dragon princes. And now let's fight. We will prevail. Oh yeah, we're gonna declare war. Bring Make no death. mistake. And yeah, I don't know if I can really do any better than this. Auto resolve wise. We'll definitely put that on you. They will know. And there you go. Fit only for I'm gonna take the money. Sent forth by Bor. Potion of Toughness. Very nice to see. Gives you a little bit less HP restoration, but also gives you melee defense and armor. So I think I'm going to give that to Imric. Boundless courage. And then uh, we'll give the push and healing to somebody else, I guess. Now, let's see, what else do we need? Elven healing might be really good to get. Um, He does also have... I thought he had... Ah, yeah, here we go. He's got like this AoE hex, so we probably want to at least get to that. Heroic Killing Blow, maybe, you know, a little bit less important. Missile Resistance also might be a nice to have. And that might be nice to have as well. Um, for now... I think I'm gonna give him this Blazing Lance to... make enemies he hits flammable. That sounds pretty good. Seems like, you know, we've got a pretty good running theme <laughs> going on here, so... Why not, uh, why not continue with it? All right, here, let's build. Um, I mean, we don't really need anything in particular. A little bit more public order wouldn't hurt. Even though this isn't, like, going to be a big, uh, settlement. But we also need the growth, right? So I guess I'll, I'll do that. We'll upgrade this. And, uh, let's just take a look down here. I thought we had a general named Azuma. I think we did, but he died. <laughs> Moving out. He sacrificed to stop the, uh, the, the incoming hordes. Setting the pace. I cannot. And, yeah, it looks like, man, it looks like there's just nothing here, man. <laughs> I think we could actually come down here and just sweep right through 100% of this territory. With very little repercussions, other than maybe Marathi attacks us because she likes Malice. Because they're both Dark yes, Elves. I'm just assuming here. I actually don't know. Um, over here, we can actually start upgrading Haunted Forest. Or we could get this. Let's get this. Because that'll give us another decent amount of income. So that sounds pretty good. Then I'm going to flip the switch back to that, I think. For a bit. And then we'll consider our, our um, public order situation, I guess. Ooh, we've got 
somebody coming down in our uh, our Calador region by the looks of things. We need to perhaps take a look at that. If that's an army, we're going to be in some trouble, I think. And looks like uh, Grimgore beat Wurzag. Funny story. Well, it's not really funny at all, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Greenskins now have the, the Norska Confederation mechanic, so if uh, an orc faction beats the lord of another orc faction, they get to take all their stuff. Which uh, makes sense to me. Seems, seems, seems appropriate. I mean, I don't know for certain, but I imagine that's how orcs would largely uh, behave. Now let's take a look at this. Who's here? Taurus of Thigh. So just somebody going through? I'm not sure. Port Elastor, White Tower of Hoeth. Tor oh, this Everest is still on the table. Barely, I imagine. We... They don't like me very much. Um... We don't have any contact with them, though. I will weigh what you have to say and the merit of your... Alright, well... Seems like there's no army here. However, I think I'm going to uh, I'm going to grab this guy, and we're going to have ourselves a little a little bit of scouting going on down uh, this way. Uh, at least next turn, anyway. Aside from that, that's uh, looking okay. Yeah, I think uh, we can get in the water here and then sail over, I guess. Let's just get the mage back in the army first. And we'll, uh, yeah, we'll start cruising down this way, I guess. Anything else that we want to do? Yeah, we probably want to get that upgraded soon because that does re reduce our upkeep costs a fair amount as well. And then here. Onward then. Yeah, there's, there's really just not much going on here. Just gonna send him over, uh, over uh, this way, I guess, and then we'll send him home. Or maybe we'll keep him around just to keep scouting, but he could be really useful for stabilizing public order in the short term here. Ah, Libra is attacking the Silver Host. That's good to see. Now, the, like I said before, the problem with this territory is that uh, it's not really suitable for us, so it makes things very expensive, and we don't get as much money as well. So, there is that. Growth plus 10 all provinces. Good, good to see. And actually getting that... Uh, that minstrel is really quite useful down here. And we can give you a food taster. Yeah, we're not going to give you the court attendant. But that might be enough to actually stabilize down here. Nah, not quite. Not quite. But it's pretty darn close. We just need to handle the rest of this corruption. Man, Tyrion, you are fucking up. Pretty significantly here, man. Now that you are here. I will hear you. Oh boy. Ulthwin is definitely going to fall to uh, the Cult of Pleasure, and we're probably going to lose Kalidor in the process. There's just nothing we can do about it right now. We've got to work on uh, other things. So, here, how are things looking? Corruption is still going down. Uh, we're definitely going to build that. Here, how are we, we looking? Corruption is also going down here. But uh, not quite as much as I would like. We're going to have to deal with another rebellion out this way before too long. Uh, for now, let's just get you in the water, I guess. First, offer thanks to Vol. And then we'll see. We'll just see what happens. All right, hero not moved. 
Yeah, come and come and take what a look over this way, shall shall we? What do we what do we got? Like I would love to just run up there and take that. <laughs> that would be fine with me. Here, uh, here we go. Yeah, so they've got uh, quite the army here, poised to attack Lothurn. I'm actually going to go scout over that way next, I think. I think it's going to take us... Ooh, Skullcrag got destroyed. I think that's, um... Grom the Ponches faction, the new DLC Lords faction uh, for the Greenskins. So I guess Everest was successful, or they never made it over there, one of the two. I can't remember exactly where he starts as the AI. But I think he starts close to Everest. I could be, could be wrong, though. Uh, for now... Standing by. Ali! We're just going to send you up, and yeah, there's there's no armies here. <laughs> like, I have no idea where Malice went. So I'm just going to send him back over so he can spread some public order, hopefully, and do do a little good over here. And we... are going to do a little trespassing, I think. Oh, no, we, can't, we can't quite reach. That's a shame. We can actually maybe go grab that first. That might be good. Cause yeah, I'm pretty I'm reasonably confident we can we can handle this. Let's just see. Um I think every turn we just need to check with uh Tyrion here. At your service. To uh to see if he'll accept the confederation. Because discuss? otherwise he's going to die and we won't be able to get him as a lord, which would be unfortunate. Not like the end of the world, but it would be nice to have him on our squad, even if it's recruiting him down here in the uh, the wasteland <laughs> instead of um, up north. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll build these things here, I think. And uh, yeah, let's let's just take a look. I will obey. Well, he's still alive, but he's only level three, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh boy. He's building another army. For what I have no idea. And there you go. Mothran's now under siege. I think he'll accept the Confederation pre pretty soon. Like, there's just nothing we can do to help him right now. Be kind of cool if we could just send our one hero into the battle for fun, but. I will see you. I don't think much would uh, come of that. You're going to declare war on I me. Mean, I have no idea who you are, man. <laughs> or where you are, but okay. Sure. I don't even know how you found me. Alright. Right, expires. Dragon sighting. Very nice. How about a little diplomacy? Dude, you fucking suck at defending Alt-1. How's that for careful words? <laughs> Join my confederation, you dolt. Nope, he's just gonna lose Lothurn and then die, I guess. Cause he's got he's got no other settlements left. He's got oh no, he's got he's got a couple over here. For whatever little that's worth. He's got one. What do you see? Two armies besieging him right now. He actually, I mean, Lothar is level five, so he might actually be able to win that, oddly enough. Of magic. He might. I sincerely hope he does. Um, all right. Let's, uh, let's go see what this is. Uh, all right. Ocean crossing situation. We can explore the island and get a lot of money or just a little bit of money. But we have to fight if we explore. We're going to explore the island. Let's do it. And yeah, this is like a little tiny baby uh, <laughs> pirates. Um, we'll no just... Guts. You know what? Let's It'll be no let's fight it. All. We haven't fought any, uh, any uh, sea pirates or, or, or um, pirate vampires 
yet. And uh, without doing this event, we actually may never. Not until we find like Aranessa or something like that way over in Sartosa, if she's even still alive. We do need to respect the cannons a little bit, but uh, for the most part, yeah, I think we're going to be okay. All right, we will... Right, gambling isn't going to do anything, I don't think. Um, but we will start deployment here. Phoenix, I actually wonder, did our uh, Winds of Magic actually change at all, or was it just the, uh, the number here? Hmm, I don't, I, I don't know. What I do know is we probably don't want to fight him in the water. Seems like they're probably going to be pretty good in the water. So instead, let's... Um, I don't want to be in the woods... But uh, we just don't, we don't have a whole lot of room to maneuver. Let's move you guys up like this. Move you guys up like uh, something like this. And actually, it will be done. We will obey. these guys would be ideal for getting shot by the carronade. Uh, because, or the carronades I should say, because they... They um are in loose formation. And then we've got our our, our big dick uh, dragon squad over here. Now that she can fly, she's actually somehow even even more useful. All right, good enough. We'll start the battle and send you guys out to uh, hopefully deal with those uh, cannons. You guys actually, you know, I put you on the wrong side. You should probably go around the other way. All right, what do we got? There's, there's one of them. Let's definitely do that. Now she actually could probably tank them just fine because she's got 50% physical resist. All right, let's take a look. Keep moving these guys over. And. Go ahead and do uh, one of those, maybe. There's the other one. All right, Dragon Breath, numero uno. Dragon Breath, numero doso. And we'll save the other one for uh, for these guys over here, I think. All right, get in there. Yeah, the, uh, the other Carinade is bombarding us a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do another Dragon Breath over here, I think. Okay, that looks fine. Go ahead and get in there. You guys can go and fight them, I guess. That seems fine. I imagine they're going to crumble uh, basically immediately. Even with her uh, reduced weapon damage. All right, let's um, form up our archers a little bit better here. We'll get you guys forming up a little bit better as well. Send you out to the flank. And yeah, those guys immediately crumbled. Those guys are crumbling. Now we just, I don't know, just pick somebody. Gonna remob with hand cannons. Probably somewhat dangerous, but uh, I think we've probably gonna we're probably gonna kill them yeah before they can do too terribly much to us. Um, deck hands mob, just yes, come on over. All right, you surprise these guys aren't dead yet. And you're gonna you're gonna leave. We're gonna let the the other dragon handle things here. And sure. Actually, you know what? No, shoot shoot them with your, your flame breath. And these other guys aren't even gonna get close to us. Alright, down you go. Forgot to give him that uh, that potion as well. Okay, we'll uh do one of those just for fun. And 
And uh, sure, how about a little flame breath as well? Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. All right, you go fight him. These guys are almost dead. And yeah, they're they're crumbling. That'll be the end of those guys. Oh, hang on, we got some sneaky boys over here. How dare you? Go and uh, help them out, please. Yeah, we should be able to just chomp up on that guy a little bit. There we go. Easy, easy fights. He actually does have a halberd, so I guess he's technically anti-large. But, uh, don't think it's going to matter. Really, <laughs> just a hunch. Yeah, there he goes. Okay. So let's see what we get for this. I imagine it's going to be a decent pile of gold. 5,000 at least, I think, maybe. Might be more, maybe 10,000. That would be really nice. I doubt it's going to be quite that much. So I'm thinking about building, if we get a decent amount of money, I'm thinking about building an army over in Kalidor and seeing if maybe I can help Tyrion a little bit. I don't know if he'll sally out, though. Um, yeah, we're going to want the replenishment here. Yeah, 5,000 uh, gold. 1,500 bonus experience is like, it's fine. It's not great. Can we actually, uh... Get on the land over here? Never. No, we still can't. You have my attention. One of these days, we'll get there. We'll definitely grab that. We're gonna start sending you over this way. Imric. Son of and then here. What kind of uh, lord could we get? Avaricious. Efficient. Yeah, okay. That sounds like something I'm interested in for... Uh, for this kind of a, uh, a situation. We'll, we'll, we'll get this guy. We'll get... That as well, I think. Lethal grace given form. Lord of the Phoenix and then let's start recruiting some crap. Like just some archers, for example. We could do another uh, greater invocation of Vol. Oh, that's how we get flaming attacks for everybody. Gotcha. Um, Because we'll get another nice item. Let's do that. No? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Blade of Sea Gold. Hmm. Blessed Tome. That seems pretty bad. Staff of Solidarity. That seems okay. Here we go. Sapphire Guardian Phoenix. 12% magic resistance for the entire army. It sounds okay. I'm gonna take that. It's not as good as the other uh, options we had. I was hoping for that, that chest that gave us upkeep reduction again, but... Uh, Sadly, it just was not meant to be. Okay, how's uh, how's everything looking here? We've got minus 10. From what? Still with the corruption? Man. Uh, well, let's build that. And then we just need to get this guy, like, over there. <laughs> as soon as possible. Um, if we don't tax the province this turn, we'll get one more turn out of it. We are Ill at ease. Yeah, I mean, I want to attack Malice, but we just... We, we gotta get these settlements built up. So that we can... Um, so that we can af afford to, to leave, for Christ's sake. 
It's really what it comes down to. I mean, at least we got that. I mean, yeah, yeah. Every every little bit helps. Just trying to decide if I can afford to build this up as well. Yeah. Just seeing what else is out here. Oh, why it's so choppy out here, though? It's a little, little annoying. Hmm. Well, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with this. Um, with the one exception of I just, I can't. The Asser are troubled. Uh, I can't afford to do that just yet. And yeah, you just uh, you sit tight. We don't need you to do anything. I know about that. And the turn. So I'm not sure what I should do with Tyrion. I'm kind of hoping that he wins. Of the um, obviously. But I, uh... Noble Lord, forward at once. I don't know... I just don't know, like... If... Oh, did they... Did he, did he actually do it? They left. Speak your mind. At the very least. Or do they just sack it? No, it's, it's all still there. Where is it? There's no garrison. But it's still level 5, so they couldn't have sacked it. At least I don't think. Well, maybe they could have. At your service. I will weigh what you have to say and the merit of your actions. He just really doesn't want to confederate. I don't know why. Does he think he's stronger than me? Because he's like, objectively, just not. Can I offer assistance? Where's the, uh, the, the town line, so to speak, down here? Right there. Prince. Let's just have a little look-see, shall we? I serve the king. So the garrison here is bleak swords, dread spears, a couple units of dark shards. Like, we could probably take it if we just put the hero in there. <laughs> Honestly. Um, I'm going to send him, send him back over this way. Still losing a little bit of public order there. Uh, all right, what else, what else, what else? So we're going to have a rebellion here, I think. Oh, no, we're not, because we have you on the uh, the scene now. Let's see, you get uh, get another point of specialist, so that's good. Um, Yeah, we need to get you here. Except now there's not going to be a rebellion. Goddamn. Well, hang on. We can at least turn that back on. That makes a big difference. Order must be maintained. And uh, we've still got 20 turns to get over to that, so that's good. All right, let's let's build that. Actually, no. Let's um, let's do that first. We Nothing we can build here, but this is actually going to help as well as far as our finances go. I don't I don't need that. Thank you. Uh, which means we can come over here. How can I assist you? And uh, recruit maybe like one unit of spears. 
and some more archers like that. Or did I just get three? I think I just got three archers, but that's fine. <laughs> that's all we need. We need to start taking some of this territory back from Marathi and getting this settlement would be a good start. Just because, I mean, then we could at least unite the province and uh, just reduce her income a little bit, you know, all kinds of good stuff like that. Not aggression pack? Fuck no. <laughs> not with you guys, not right now. I might have to come down there and whoop your ass to, to actually get some money, so. We'll, uh, we'll see. Yeah, income's looking pretty good. And yeah, the garrison's there, so I, I, I'm not really entirely sure what happened there. I, th I think he must have won. One way or another here. What actually might be good is if we, um, as much as I want him up there, I want to come over and try to make contact with these other elven factions. Um, so that maybe we can confederate Torivris and Safri. Let's just take a look. Yeah, we still, we still haven't technically found them yet, even though we can clearly see them on the map. Yeah, there's not much of a garrison here. Lethal grace given oh no, yeah, I did get one unit of spears. Good. I'm, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna start taking some of this territory back. A strong leader. We're gonna fight this out. We probably could auto-resolve it, but uh, finding out is probably a bit safer. Because Tyrion just isn't quite getting this done. Not on his own. The more powerful we are, the uh, the better off we'll be for when he eventually fails, <laughs> I guess. Um, that, and again, that may be sort of why he didn't want to confederate with us, is because he thinks we're, we're a little bit too weak, so. There's that to consider. And, uh, you know, if we, if we do lose Kalidor, like I've said before, not good, but it's not the end of the world either. Alright, I think the, the plan here, Archers. you go ahead and stick these guys like so. Stick that guy up front. Spearman. Stick these guys up front. Begin the battle. And let's uh, it will be done. start shooting those guys. We should be able to beat them. I don't think they have shields. I know they do have shields, but well, that's unfortunate. I, never I want you guys to actually back up a bit. At once. Moving out. Proud to serve. Advance. I want you to come up, and you're going to fight 100% of these guys. Okay, those, these dark shards are basically wiped out. One more volley. Oh no. Don't you dare run away from me. Spearman. We go. March. Weapons ready. Okay, looks good. Finish off these guys if you would please. Alright. Looking looking okay, I think. Go ahead and shoot these bleak swords now. Shoot these bleak swords. They, uh, those archers may come back. It's not that big a deal. But we should have the uh, the range firepower we need. You guys actually maybe need to come back a little bit farther here. All right, go ahead and shoot them just so they uh, don't shoot us. Okay, their commander's running. Start shooting those guys. Start shooting those guys. Start shooting these guys. Okay. Looking looking good here. Few casualties, but it's not that big a deal. Not really worried about the spears themselves. Shoot them. Yeah, shoot them. 
Those guys are out of here, and there we go, we win. And we really only took damage on the uh, the spears for the most part. And with the the uh, the province um, united, we can maybe get some good stuff done here. As far as our public order situation goes, at long last. Like, even one more public order building would do it. And we can also maybe start dealing with some of this corruption, which would also uh, help the public order situation. It is um, now. loot and occupy? No, no, no. We're just gonna... Seize it. We're just gonna occupy. I don't wanna make things more difficult than they need to be. Lethal grace given for now, you, I think we give you Bowmaster for now. And, uh... We are let's, uh, let's start upgrading this as well. The goal being to, you know, really get this province in, uh, in good shape as soon as possible. I think I'm going to do that for the moment. Prince. Then we're going to have to come down here and probably deal with a rebellion, but that should be easy enough. Nagaroth breeds weak warriors. All right, let's get you. Oh, no, you've place. already uh, done your thing. Okay. All right, you. As you are. We need Against you to come over here. Follow me to glory. So the, this uh, rebellion will actually happen in uh, a reasonable amount of time here. Although, I guess either way, we're going to have a rebellion. Although, I, ha having one here is a little bit less convenient because uh, we'd have to go all the way up there to deal with it. Uh, the only other thing I want to do is uh, we're going to come over here. We're going to look at your stuff. And... Um, We'll give you a Bane Shield. We'll give you Van Braces of Defense. We'll give you... Ah, uh, yeah. We'll give you this Radiant Gem. That's not very useful for you, but we can at least give you a Food Taster, I guess. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, before I forget, let's just give somebody in, uh, in our army over here the... Uh, the Phoenix item that we got. I think we'll give it to you if we can. Yes, okay. So we'll give you that. I guess we could give you that. Mm -hmm. A little bit less worried about doing that. And I think I'm going to stick you... Even though you're on a dragon, I think I'm going to keep that on you. However, we will swap that around. And everything else here, I think, seems fine. The only other thing I would say is maybe we give you... Oh, we actually can't... Can't give you the Beard Weaver, huh? I guess maybe that's for nobles or something? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's uh, maybe see if we can give it to you. Standing by. No. I have no idea. <laughs> well, anyway. Uh, yeah, things... Uh, Things have been interesting, but it's nice to be able to actually build these provinces up a bit, uh, finally. And uh, now we've got ourselves a new war to fight over uh, over yonder here against the Cult of Pleasure to see if we can get them the hell out of Ulthwan and hopefully uh, allow us to confederate this area. There's also some really nice settlements here like Tor Anrock here. That uh, we'd be very interested in in uh, adding to our little our uh, repertoire of, of settlements. <laughs>